Aloha everyone and welcome back to the Kilauea Eruption and Leilani Estates update for July 23rd, 2018. There's really not a lot uh, different to talk about in the update tonight, uh, so we'll just get right to the basics. USGS reports on Monday, July 23rd, 2018 at 1.06 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time. Figure 8 continues to erupt lava into the channel leading northeastward from the vent. UAV crews found overflows just northwest of Kapoho Cone following a collapse event at the summit at 8.45 last night. The overflows were mostly confined to the existing flow field and stalled before threatening any nearby homes. The most vigorous ocean entry is located a few hundred meters northeast of the southern flow margin with a few tiny pahoehoe toes entering the ocean from the Kapoho Bay lobe to the north. The southern margin of the flow remains about 500 meters or 0.3 miles from the boat ramp at Isaac Halle Park. However, a new lobe has started from the southern lobe and is active along its southern west margin slowly heading towards the ocean. No other fissures are active as of this morning. Over on Highway 130, HVO field crews are still tracking activity as conditions allowed. There has been no changes in temperature, crack width, or gas emissions. Up on the Kilauea Volcano Summit, the last collapse event occurred at 8.53 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time, Sunday, July 22nd. Seismicity dropped following the event and has increased to 20 to 40 earthquakes per hour by this morning. The next collapse event is expected tomorrow morning. Inward slumping of the rim and walls of Halima'uma'u continues. Sulfur dioxide emissions from the volcano's summit are very low. The gas and minor amounts of ash resuspended by the wind are being transported downwind. Small bursts of ash and gas may coincide with the summit collapse events. The summit region is occasionally impacted by sulfur dioxide from the lower east rift zone eruption. The volcano area is experiencing poor air quality due to easterly winds. The earthquake activity in the area continues to cause road damage on Highway 11. Motorists are advised to be on alert for changing road conditions, especially between mile marker 28 and mile marker 32. And finally for the EPA Air Monitoring Sensor Report. The sensor located at Pahala High School was reading at 9.40 p.m. 0.0017 parts per million for sulfur dioxide. Over in Nanavali Estates, at 9.47 p.m., SO2 reading was 0.0, .0 parts per million and H2S 0.0, .0 parts per million. In Leilani Estates, at 9.47 p.m., the sensor was reading 0, point parts, 0, .0 parts per million for sulfur dioxide and 0, .0 parts per million for hydrogen sulfide. And finally, down in Kalapana Seaview Estates, at 9.56 p.m., the SO2 reading was 0.0, .0 parts per million and the H2S 0.0, .0 parts per million. And that will do it for the basic update. So let's move on to, of course, our favorite little segment. Look at that there. Okay, we haven't seen this street in a while. Does anyone know what the name of this street is? Uh, I'll give you a minute. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Talk. Okay, about five seconds. That's Capono Street. We haven't seen a picture of Capono Street in quite a while. Um, from the looks of this picture, uh, it looks like the cracks haven't really changed that much. Still steamy. Um, and if you look in the top left-hand corner, you'll also see that there is uh, still some green in those palm trees. And we also have, of course, there in, in the middle of the screen, the uh, USGS personnel setting up a piece of equipment. Um, according to the information associated with this picture, he's setting up a, a device that will help them measure the, uh, the magma uh, under the ground. It didn't quite say exactly what aspect of the magma. Uh, at least I don't remember from what I read. Uh, this photo was taken, I think, on the 20th. So, we know as of the 20th, there's been relatively no change on Capono Street. So, Capono Street update. Look at that there, finally. Now, let's take a look at this photo. And what I want you to look at that there at is these uh, little holes that you see starting in the left uh, bottom corner of the picture traveling diagonally up towards the uh, right 
center of the picture. We've seen these in uh, another image that I've looked at before where we, we could see like you know from the the air looking down at the ground uh, with the fence and how deep the tephra is. This is basically a, a tephra debris field that's been produced by the cone and uh, what these holes are are little sinkholes in the tephra. Um, don't know if it's because it's collapsing in on itself uh, on the bottom because we know this the stuff is very crumbly uh, so it's not very strong so I would suspect under its own weight uh, it would begin to collapse and compact um, or this could be little cracks and things like that that uh, the tephra is you know finally starting to fall through and you know it creates the, the, the hole in the surface in this next photo uh, this is a photo of fissure 8 and a lava channel if you look over on the left center side you'll see the the little red spot with the plume in it that's um of course fissure 8 and then it travels to the right of the picture and then zigzags back down to the bottom left and that's of course the, the lava channel flow however that's not what i want you to look at um what i want to look want you to look at is uh if you look at the that there in the top right quadrant of the screen uh, the, the, the hump on the horizon if I am correct and I do believe I am that is Mauna Kea uh, that is the the mountain that the observatories are on and if you look to the left of that going horizontally across the screen to that long hump uh, that would be Mauna Loa um, which is kind of interesting because Mauna Kea is the one that, that gets most of the snow and uh, from what I've been told Mauna Kea translates to White Mountain um, and Mauna Loa uh, translates to Long Mountain and I guess the names are appropriate okay and for our last look at that there what I want you to look at is this image forget about the people um, that's not important what I want you to do is just look at the landscape the road the trees the lava and all that stuff so go ahead and take a look take a real good look because I'm going to show you something in just a second here okay what's missing these are two images taken from videos of lower Kahokai uh, when the all the eruption was taking place back there um, way back in June I believe it was early June, late May, no, God, it's been so long, I can't even hardly remember, um, but it was somewhere back there in, in the beginning times, uh, but anyways, so let me flash between the two pictures. Do you see what was missing? If you look up in the center left, top left of the screen, uh, you got that big Albizia there, uh, looking like it's ready to fall over at any time. And then it does. Poof. Up in flames. Yeah. Too bad I didn't catch it actually on camera. It happened between the, the two videos that these images were taken from. And before I wrap this up for the update, uh, one more little thing I want to share uh, with all of my new subscribers. Um, all of y'all that have been following me already have already heard this one, but uh, I want to go ahead and, and share it again for all those people that uh, have joined us after uh, I originally uh, uh, told everyone. But uh, it's a simple little joke, a uh, joke that was inspired by the eruption event here in Leilani Estates. So for all you new people, um, here it is. Uh, it's a little bit of a cheesy joke, but it's a good one. So anyways, I'm sure you'll get a chuckle. Okay, here we go. Why did the chicken cross the active lava flow? To get to the barbecue it was invited to on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> and for everyone that's already heard that, got a part two for you. Why did the mongoose cross the street? To get to the barbecue the chicken was invited to, of course. <laughs> Okay, right, one more thing before I go. Uh, I want to ask everybody that's watching a, a question. Uh, when this uh, eruption event is over, uh, and hopefully that will be soon, because I'll be honest with you, I enjoy making these videos, but 
I'm, you know, I would like to do something else maybe, which is what I'm getting to with the question. When this is all over with, what would y'all want me to do? What what would you like me to show you? I mean, I, I really have no idea what everybody would be interested in. So uh, if you can give me some ideas, uh, I'll start looking into those and, and maybe even try one or two of them out instead of a, a, an update or maybe an extra video or or whatever it is but uh, anyways guys uh, let me know in the comments what you think and uh, thanks for watching I do appreciate it don't forget to subscribe thumbs up the video uh, share um, comment you know do all those things this has been the Kilauea eruption and Leilani Estates update for July 23rd 2018